Shady is becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Last year as a rookie, he had 32 interceptions. And this year, he has 18 touchdowns and 3 interceptions in only 5 games. This week, he'll have a big challenge, though. The Texans play the Colts, who have a top 5 defense in the NFL. To start the game off on 2nd down and 11, Colts will come out with 2 high safeties, and Shady would drop back and throw it across the middle to Brent Roberts for a 12-yard game. Now, on 1st down and 10, the Texans would try to move the ball some more. Nobody would be open downfield, so Shady dumped it off on a bubble route to Brent Roberts. He got 13 yards on that play. So far this season, Brent Roberts has definitely been a steal for the Texans. Now, the Colts are playing zone, so Shady fires it across the middle to Chris Ferguson on a slant. Second down and 12, and Shady has been picking apart this Colts defense so far. Shady would then dump it off the dog right here for a little 8-yard gain. Now, after that 8-yard gain, the Texans would eventually get a first down, which would give him first down and 10, and Shady would find Chris Ferguson on this nice curl route for 11 yards and a touchdown. Now, before the play started, Traymond Shady noticed that the Colts were playing one high, so he knew this may be an opportunity for him to take a big-time shot. Shady would drop back and fire the ball deep down the field to Chris Ferguson, and he would hit him right in stride. Luckily, a touchdown saving tackle by 29 for the Colts. Mm, look at that throw. Big time arm. Hit him right on the button. Traymond Shady may have the best deep ball in all of football. Definitely one of the biggest arms in the sport as well. Just hit him right on the money. Beautiful pitch and catch. Now, on second down and seven, Traymond Shady will end up handing the ball off to Jake Charles, and Jake Charles will walk into the end zone. Jake Charles has absolutely been one of the best red zone backs ever since he stepped foot in the NFL. And after the first quarter, Houston's up 14 zip on Indianapolis. It's not looking too good for the Colts. Houston just trying to extend that lead. Now on third down and two, Shady would drop back, find his number one wide receiver, Chris Ferguson, across the middle on a slant for a six-yard game. Now faced with another third down and short, the Texans would come out throwing the ball. Shady would find Brent Roberts on this stop route right here for a first down. That's how you finish the run right there, Brent. Nine yards. Colts would come out here playing man coverage. Brent Roberts would be wide open on this bubble, but he just got stone hands on that play. Now on third down and four, Culver got sent in motion. Shady could have threw it to Culver. He would have been open, but he held on to the football too long. Got thrown on the ground. Now, on second down and 10, deep in their own territory, Shady will find Calvin Dawson on a nice corner route right here. Calvin Dawson, the rookie wide receiver out of Penn State. Now, Shady, with pressure coming down on him, would throw an absolute dime right here to Calvin Dawson. Unfortunately, Calvin Dawson would end up getting injured on this play. It's just a beautiful pitch and catch. He got smacked. Hopefully he'll be alright though. One of the best parts of Traymond Shady's game is that he has elite anticipation. Now on first down and 10, the Colts would do a great job of having coverage downfield. Nobody would be open and instead of throwing the ball away, Traymond Shady would take a side. Now on second down and 21, Shady would make his best throw with a football game. Play action, one on one deep downfield to Chris Ferguson. That was a beautiful throw. He knew the safety would be in the middle of the field, and he knew he had one-on-one, so he had to throw the ball towards the sideline just a little bit. Hit him right in stride. Perfect throw. Now, with 10 seconds left in the half, Shady would hit Chris Ferguson right here on a corner route. Now, with 5 seconds left to go in the half, Shady would hit Chris Ferguson again on a slant route for a touchdown. His number one wide receiver has been eating this football game. Now, for the entire third quarter, the Texans have been milking the clock, just giving the ball to Jake Charles. So, on third down and seven, they have to throw it right here. Shady would just dump it off the dog. Dog would get smacked. That would force them to get the ball back to the coach. But the coach couldn't do anything on offense. Now, the Texans' offensive line would get great push right here on this play, and Jake Charles would do the rest. Eight-yard game. Moving the chain. 18 carries, 82 yards for number 26. Now, Three minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Jake Charles would impose his will on this game, getting a big run late in the fourth quarter to pretty much ice the game. In the second half, they just been running the clock down, giving the ball to 26. Running the clock down, giving the ball to 26. And he would move the chains once again on that play. Now with 120 left to go in the fourth quarter, Charles would walk into the end zone untouched and pretty much in the game. In this spanking of the Texans over the Colts, I expected a lot more effort from the Colts defense. You got a top five defense in the NFL and you just gonna let a team drop 28 on you like it's nothing. Especially your division rival. Impressive win by the Texans. Traymond Shady, the wide receiving core of the Texans. We got all the weapons, Jake Charles, the running back. Defense balled out. 
Texans were good last year, but I'm sure they have a way better team this year. And Traymon Shady might be a Pro Bowler this year. Don't hold me to it, but I think he might be a Pro Bowl. With the strides that he's taking, the weapons that he has, I don't see why not. Anyways, I'm going to show y'all some of the player stats, some of the team stats. Feel free to stop the video whenever you want to go look at the stats. But anyways, it's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click on that post notification bell too. If you want to be included as a character in the Reason Sports Network universe, then this is the video for you. In the Reason Sports Network, we make content for high school football, college football, and the NFL. You can be a character in our series and see yourself evolve from high school to college to the pros. If you want to be a part of this, then fill out the form that's in the description. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for filling out the form and wanting to be part of the Reason Sports Network and enjoy the content. If you want to see my NFL career mode slash road to glory where my middle linebacker has two pick sixes in the same game and three sacks, then click this video right here. Or you can see every single Traymond Shady video if you click on the playlist above.